For several years now, NI employees have participated in one of the largest cycling events of its kind, the MS-150, benefiting the National MS Society. The BP MS-150 Bike Tour is a two-day cycling ride from Houston to Austin that raises funds to help people living with MS in Texas. This year, over 120 National Instruments employees participated in the MS-150 as the NI cycling team. Being a technology company, we have often talked amongst ourselves of ways in which we could use our products to help promote the event. This year, we decided to give it a shot. Three brave NI engineers, Mark, Carla, and Marshall, set out to take NI Labio on this 180-mile ride. Using a bike-mounted ultra-mobile PC, or UMPC, and Labview, we track their progress live on Google Maps. And to make it more interesting, we decided to give some prototype wireless devices a trial run by taking some simple temperature and acceleration measurements along the way. Here's how it works. The devices on Marshall's and Carla's bikes transmit measurement data wirelessly to LabVIEW, running on the UMPC with Mark. A GPS receiver also transmits speed and coordinates information via Bluetooth. LabVIEW collects all data and then uploads it to a web server over the Edge network using a mobile broadband modem. Finally, a script running on the web server updates a Google map with new coordinates and measurement data every five seconds, so supporters can track their progress from the air-conditioned comfort of their home. The first day of the ride was a learning experience, as the riders crossed the threshold between the accelerated 3G wireless network and the edge network. We lost connectivity. It's always good to test for such things before sending a tiny laptop on a 180-mile journey strapped to a bicycle. Despite what the map read, our riders made it safely to their lunch break in Belleville, Texas. On the way to the afternoon stop in industry, the battery died. It never lasts as long as the specs claim. Undeterred, our routers pushed on to LaGrange, where NI volunteers had set out a welcome spread of beer, fajitas, and most importantly, showers. After a good night's rest, the team was ready for day two, only 80 miles to go. It was early and it was cold, but they were determined to take the challenging route through hilly, though scenic, Bastrop State Park. As noted by some online observers, the velocity would vary from 2 miles an hour and suddenly speed to 19. That's gravity at work. After a quick lunch break in Bastrop, Texas, the team headed out on their final 30-mile ride to downtown Austin. And I volunteers and supporters waited in a tent at the finish line, watching the team online as they rode in. It was a long weekend, but it was for a good cause. We had a lot of fun and we had a lot of good data to share with our R&D team. For more info on LabVIEW and wireless technology, check out ni.com wireless.